Welcome to the flowerschool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and here today I want to talk to you about Halloween. We have a fabulous new Halloween decorating kit that's easy to create multiple designs. It includes everything you see back here, and I'll give you a close-up of it as well, but several vases, all the foams, all the base you need, then you add your own style and creativity. Do you like the whimsical look? like the jack-o'-lantern, or do you like the more haunting, like the spider web? Either way, you can create all of this from one kit. Included in each kit are ample supplies to make multiple arrangements so that you can decorate the whole house or share them with friends. There's a spiral vase, a bubble bowl, and then three smaller hurricane vessels, which later can become candle cups that you can use throughout the year. Of course, flower food to keep your flowers alive. And then, to create the haunting base, you get a bag of the floral cubes in charcoal and a bag of the powder in charcoal. And there's plenty there to fill all your vases without any problem. Then, a little bit of black wire so that you've got the aluminum wire to decorate and bat wings, lacquered black, and I'll show you how to work with those to create bats that fly through your designs. Then a few little U-glue dashes, they're used for the bat wings. And with all of this, and then you gather flowers, be it haunting or whimsical, and get ready to create in your own Halloween style. As I fill my vessels, working with the cubes, it's easiest to soak these in a bucket of water mixed with the flower food. Then, after they're fully saturated, then take them and put them into your containers and just add more water so that you fill the water reservoir and they're ready for flowers. With the powder, I prefer to put it into the vessel dry. So I would take my container, add in the powder, Tamp it down a bit. Don't make it too packed, but tap it down. Go back, add a little more. And then have your water pre-mixed with the flour food so that it goes through and saturates. And just pour it in. You can see it tamps down even more. You can go back and add more powder, add more water. Key is not too much water. You don't want to flood it out. But you put your powder in. Then a little bit more water. Then let it saturate. Maybe add a little more to this one. And then you're ready to design. For flowers, I chose vivid oranges and yellows to go for the whimsical side, thinking of the jack-o'-lantern in my ear. I've got dahlias, marigolds, mini sunflowers, roses, and solid aster. Notice no foliage this time. And I can go through, just strip down, and then give it a cut. And then when you're working with the foam, you want to make sure that you don't come out the opposite side. You want to hide the stem down inside Get it nestled in deeply so that it will drink, but not so deeply that you see the end come out over the edge. You want to keep it interior so that it doesn't give you that green stem in the bottom. It's not attractive. You want that hidden away. So I'm radiating around, just pulling through a central binding point, getting a nice base of the solid aster first. And the foam is so secure, it allows everything to stay right where I want it to be. And then going back with the flowers. Dahlia first, making sure it's down in the water. And another dahlia. This one's going to be so long, I'm going to use it in two pieces. One for the bloom, and then one for the bud. Maybe a last dahlia, bringing it around to the opposite side. You can see that makes it so bright and festive. Then going ahead with the marigolds, these were huge, marigolds on steroids. Cutting them down, don't need them to be quite so long. Tucking them in, and again, just radiating out from that central point.
Now I can tuck in my roses and get that luxurious look, cutting it, and then feeding it into that same central binding point, radiating around. And I always work radial when I'm doing flowers for my own parties, because that way I can move them and set them wherever I want. It might end up where you only see it from one side, but it might get moved later where you can see it all the way around. So I want to make sure that no matter where I set my flowers, they'll look beautiful. So that radial format, be it full and round this way or a little more upright, like the haunting, either way works fabulous. Tucking in the little mini sunflowers. Again, making sure they're down into the water reservoir, but that the stems don't come out the other side and that it looks good front, back, and sides. To add a bit of haunting fun, making the bats. This is where you use your aluminum wire and then the little bat wings that we sent you. Now you may recognize these. Yes, they are holly leaves that I've lacquered black. And I just cut them off. You don't need the stem at all. And then using a length of wire, depends on how long you want it to be. It can be anywhere from 15 inches to 24 inches. And just taking the end and making a small circle. So that's just going to give you a starting point. And then taking it and wrapping it around your finger creates a little squiggle to give a motion. Then using a glue dash right onto the back of a leaf, removing it. Then it hooks onto the wire, and then the second wing right onto that. So that now the glue dash is squished between, giving you the little bats. So again, it's so easy. Clip your leaf, stretch out a length, make your little round spot that you're going to glue everything to, and then wrap it around your finger to get a little bit of movement then a dash onto the back of the leaf, pull it off, add the wire, and then add the second leaf right over the top, and you're ready to go. As you finish your arrangement, you can go back and add a little more fullness if you want. Basically, if you've got more flowers, tuck them in. You don't want them to go to waste. So I have another solid aster I could feed in through the center, tucking it down in, then going back and adding the bats so that they fly through the arrangement. Bend them, get them to go exactly where you want them to. Maybe down a bit. And then using your leftover things, things that maybe broke or a little bit too short to set in. Fill in your smaller pots. Maybe even a little sunflower tucked in. Again, keeping the stems on the interior. And then this I can shorten down. I don't need him to be quite so long. And let him come flying up out over the top. The haunting Halloween done in the exact same way. I just left things a little bit longer, but it still radiates all the way around. Started on the outer edges, started on the outer edges, tucked it in, added Nandina foliage, and then little leftover things on the bottom. Easy. Now, what's even better? Look how much I still have left. So I could gather more vessels from around the house and fill them and add more flowers. You can see this kit will make lots and lots of designs for your Halloween party. Now it's your turn. You can find the kit, plus all the other supplies you might need, on the website, flowerschool.com. As you're working, if you've got questions, need a little bit of help, 
We're here. You can reach us through the website or pick up the telephone at 503-223-8089. And of course, I want to see what you create. Please send me pictures. You can use my personal email. It's Leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at PluralDesignInstitute.com. Have fun, happy Halloween, and do something you love. <laughs>